What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Eric Flowers. Um, he is now a member of the Miami Dolphins. Um, but, obviously, he doesn't have any film with us yet. But here he is playing left guard for the, at the time, Washington Redskins. Now, just Washington football team, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really kept up with him since he left the Giants, really. I know he spent a year, in maybe two, in Jacksonville. I don't know. Well, at least not off the top of my head. Um, actually, I think I got this pulled up. I can look at career real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One year in Jacksonville and then a year with Washington. Yeah. But I haven't really watched film on him since he left the Giants. So, um, Or at least not too heavy. So, um, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I wasn't a big fan of him when he was with the Giants, but... We'll see if my opinion has changed. So right off the bat, one thing I'm not liking is his hands. I don't like him getting his hands outside like that. That's going to make it easy for the defender to defeat the hands and beat you. Especially if you're up against a good def good defensive lineman now this guy's just kind of running down the middle of him so it's fine but not everybody's gonna do that so 77 there I'm not actually sure what number he's wearing with us by the way but not doesn't really matter and he has played tackle and guard as well so that's something to keep in mind Uh, that's not too bad. He was able to disengage from the D lineman and make his way up to block the linebacker. Not too mad about that. That could have looked a little bit cleaner, but it's all good. That wasn't bad. His feet look okay there. Defender kind of tried a pretty, pretty shitty looking spin move and didn't really work, so. Looked kind of lost there. All right. Um, I still don't like you getting your hands outside, but you were able to kind of just kind of rip that guy to the ground. But I still want your hands inside because you can do that even more effectively that way. Depending on who you're up against, you might be able to get away with putting your hands outside, but you play against some of these better defensive linemen in the league. Ugh. Yeah, I still don't like his hands. That has not changed. That's always been my problem with him. His feet look better. I'll give him that. His feet definitely do look better than... Like, his base there was actually pretty good. He kept his feet pretty parallel to his shoulders, but I'd like to see his hands tucked. If you look at the left tackle here, that's a little bit more closer to what I'm looking at. Uh, nope. He didn't stick with it, but it looked good for a second. But his base right there looks pretty good. I, I just don't like his hands. Yeah. 
Again, just getting his hands to the outside. And I did watch a little bit of film on my own when we did sign him, so, but I just didn't make a full video on him. Because at the time when we signed him, I was in full draft mode. He looks really lost in these zone blitz, these uh, zone runs. Getting your hands outside. I can't stand that. Probably not going to make this video too long because, like I said, he's been around the league for a while. Okay. It's a different look. Okay. Yeah. See, this is where he kind of looks lost to me. Like, this is a weird setup for Dallas. But he looks lost sometimes. And his footwork kind of kind of got choppy there too but it is better than it was with New York I'll give him that yeah you gotta finish too man ugh not a, I'm really not a big fan of Eric Flowers like I don't hate him but Base is okay there, but look, you're able to defeat that hand. He also didn't look like he was really trying to finish on that play either. Like, he kind of, he's kind of one-arming it. And he looked kind of surprised when the guy got past him, too. Okay, my bad. Um, let's go to the second quarter. I didn't realize that was fourth down. Uh, so, yeah. We should get the other angle here, right? Yeah. Okay, I liked him there. Um, he didn't look lost there on this zone run. Looked okay here. So he's going to start off with the center, like helping the center um, lock up a gap. Then he's going to disengage and go lock up Sean Lee. That looked pretty good. I'll make this video too long because this is someone I pretty much already have thoughts on. That's why I wasn't in a big hurry. Because I hadn't like sat down and really watched Eric Flowers, but I had watched film here and there on him. And he really hasn't changed a whole lot. His footwork is better, but I still can't stand his hands. And he doesn't finish. At least not consistently. Yeah, man. He does that thing, too, where he likes to try to block people with one hand. You're not Joe Thomas or Larry Allen. Try, stop trying to do that. They can get away with that. They did that all the time. But you're not them. Um, hang on. Okay, we'll do this last drive and then we'll wrap it up. S sorry. I got people talking in the background. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's just do it. So let me take another look at that real quick. Hands are looking actually a little bit better there. But 
He's just not consistent with it. You can tell that it's like it was coached into him to get his hands outside, and I can't stand that. There's a reason why certain teams have been bad for a long time. Because they coach bad habits. That's why sometimes, like, during the draft, sometimes you will see teams draft, like, raw players that just are really athletic but could use a lot of work as far as coaching goes because it sometimes not having technique is better than being taught wrong. So... Okay, so you're going to kind of help out your, uh, okay, it, it kind of threw me off because they had six offensive linemen there. Yeah, so he kind of he kinda helped out the tackle, sort of, there. He's got his hands outside. I can't stand it. But at least you're driving. Finish. And because he had his hands outside, that's why he was able to pull cloth. And that's why he was able to disengage like that. I mean, the play, it didn't matter because the play was going the other direction. But still, that's going to be a problem anyway. Stop just trying to tap him. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and do this forever. Uh, I don't I don't want to end up just like roasting him. Um, but yeah, he's kind of he's kind of still the same player. Uh, his feet have gotten better, so he has improved some. And his hands aren't as bad as they were in New York, but they still are not good. Uh, I, I, I still don't like his hands. I like I said, I did watch some film as well like when we signed him I just didn't do a video but uh yeah this is kind of why because I didn't not a big fan of most of our offensive linemen even still it's better than last year but um the big thing with Eric Flowers like I said his feet are okay they could be a little bit more consistent his hands I, I can't stand them um he looks a little bit lost sometimes and he has a problem finishing consistently. So, yeah, take that as you will. But, uh, yeah, anyway, if you like this video, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.